Hi, I'm Karen with CK Customs PA. I'm also an admin on the Facebook group Cricket Help Desk Unofficial. And boy, do I have a treat in store for you today. I'm going to unbox and set up a Cricut Joy. I do have a Cricut Maker, but this is a great addition to my Cricut collection. Let's get started. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut open the box first. Over at the sides. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. So I can see right off the bat, we have the open me guide. So in here, we're going to have kind of our, our step one, step two instructions to get started. We have the Cricut Joy itself wrapped in plastic. And then beneath the packaging, we're going to find the cords. Okay, so we have the power supply and then the connecting cable. All right, that is it for the box. We'll put that aside. We'll go ahead and um, cut through the plastic so we can get this set up. And before I plug it in, I do want to check the guides that came with it just to make sure there's nothing else I should be doing ahead of time before powering it on. It looks like we've also got um, some mats that came with it. So this here is the standard grip Cricut Joy mat. We have a piece of Smart Vinyl. So Smart Vinyl came out specifically for the Cricut Joy, does not require a cutting mat. I have my Let's Get Started guide, a piece of cardstock, and then my warranty information. So in the Let's Get Started guide, step one, go to cricut.com slash setup, and they're going to walk you through it. Um, just kind of looking at step two here that we're going to use our smart vinyl and the blade. And then finally, it's going to say, go to cricket.com slash create to learn how to use these items and more. So let's go to cricket.com slash setup. All right. On cricket.com slash setup, you have an option to download Cricut design space. I do already have a Cricut maker. So my design space is downloaded but you'll just go through the download process to download Cricut Design Space. And then once it downloads, you will want to launch it. When in Design Space, make sure you already have your account created. Otherwise it'll walk you through that. And then you can do new product setup. You have to select your cutting machine and go through the steps on screen. So they're making sure that you have space behind it because your mats will go through the machine. They want you to plug it into power. So let's go ahead and do that. There it is hiding on back. Okay. Immediately it does recognize it's connected to power. Go ahead and show you that on the screen. See right there. We do have the flashing white light. Power was in the back at the bottom and then we'll go to the next step. All right, from here, we're going to need to set up and connect to Bluetooth. So this is actually done on the computer itself. If you're using a Windows machine, you go to your start menu and you can type in Bluetooth. Click where it says Bluetooth and other device setup. And you're going to add a Bluetooth or other device. Select Bluetooth. And now it's looking for it. It does identify it by joy and then a code. I'm going to click on that. It says it's ready to go. So I'm going to click done. And I can already see in my design space, it's starting to look for it. It does look like it's connected. So I'm going to click continue at the bottom and let me 
move my banner so you can see that. There we go, guys. Continue at the bottom. Now it's going to run through its own updates. This should just take a moment. Once it completes, you'll have the update button at the bottom to proceed. The machine is going through some reboots and making sure that it has the latest programs installed. When it's done, it'll make a little bit of a noise and then you'll have a next button on your screen. You can go ahead and register your machine to your Cricut account. You'll need to agree to any of the terms and conditions and the privacy policy and click register at the bottom and then click next. You'll be offered to sign up for one month of free Cricut access. That is your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and click no thanks at the bottom. And now they wanna start with a test cut. So you can select any of the images on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the sunflower and choose next. All right, so they want me to confirm that the blade is in place with the clamp closed. So let's go ahead and go back to our table. All right, I do see the blade in its place. Clamp is closed. I am gonna briefly open it to remove this extra piece of packaging foam and then reclose that clamp. Back on my screen, we'll go ahead to the next step. And they want me to insert the smart vinyl under the guides and up against the rollers to auto feed. Here's that piece of smart vinyl. Also, by the way, it does come with a pen. Um, I didn't see that when I first opened the box, but there was a pen inside. All right, so here's that smart vinyl. I'm gonna put it in with the white edges to those guides on the side here. They're just kind of little plastic parts that I'm just lining it into right on the sides there. I'm gonna push it all the way in against the roller. All right, at this point, they're just asking my permission to start the cut. Um, I'll show you that on the screen. So at the bottom, you just click go. All right, it says that my test cut is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And then unload at the bottom of the screen. Now you can go ahead and grab it right from the tray there. I'm gonna go ahead and on the screen click done designing so I can uh, show you my design. All right, so it did cut that out. I know if I get the light just right, you'll be able to see it. This is where you would then use any weeding tools that you got. Um, they are purchased separately from the Joy but you weed out that design and then can place it on whatever you would like. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I would appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy crafting.